Hi guys, good day to all of us once again. You are back to Dexter's World channel. I'm glad today because our breeding of these betta fishes have become very successful and I'm here as my routine every morning to feed all these betta fishes. We have close to 1,500 betta fishes. Many of our viewers ask, when do you sell online? Well, we're working on it. We're working on our website and uh, in the next uh, couple of days i will really try to sell this betta fishes online but uh, for the time being allow me to just share to you how did i breed all these betta fishes of course in my previous videos we have told you about the tips on how to breed this betta fishes and i would like to repeat this in this video because many others haven't seen that video on giving tips how to breed this betta fishes well we have to say that betta fishes are easy to breed only if you are following the process i have mentioned at least uh, four processes and number one is of course you have a good selection of breeders meaning that you have to select the adult breeder female and male betta fish we can say that a female betta is already an adult one and is ready to lay eggs. If you can see in the bottom of the belly an egg like a dark colored white. You can also determine the size if the female betta is already in its uh, full grown stage then that is the time that this betta female is ready to lay eggs. And of course the adult male betta. And number two is that you have to allow them to get acquainted with each other. I call this the courtship stage, the acquaintance stage or the courtship stage. The moment you place the pair of betas in a container and they are not fighting with each other, then that's a good pair already. So there is no hard and fast rule here because sometimes you can just put them together and they will breed immediately. But the common error is that when you're going to place or put together this pair and they are not yet compatible. So what we're gonna do is we will separate the female. We will put the female in a separate container but they are seeing each other. So this is the so-called courtship or the acquaintance states. If the male beta is already inviting the female by means of creating a nest, bubbles and you can see the behavior of the female also wanting to get out from the battle to join with the male and that's the time that you're going to release the female beta together with the male and this time they are already compatible and the male beta will, will no longer harm the female so this is what we call the marriage okay so during the marriage they are already compatible and they get married and they will really lay eggs so building nests so much bubbles will be observed during the stage after the female has laid eggs in the nest made by the male beta then you will remove the female immediately out of the breeding tank because this time the male beta will be jealous of the eggs spawned by the female beta and to the extent that if the female will get near to the nest the male will become so jealous that he will really attack the female this is the complete cycle of the breeding after you remove the female beta from the breeding tank then you will wait for three days and after three days you will see that there are dark spots in the nest and these are already the newly hatched baby betas so after five days you will observe that this newly hatched baby betas will freely swim without any more the assistance of the male so that's the time that you are going to remove the male beta the father out of the container tank so this is the complete process and you will introduce their first food and i will recommend you give dapnia or brain swims.
And today we are here at my back. We have 1,500, close to 1,500 already adult ones, beta fishes. And as you can see, I also have a massive breeding already. I have actually more than 20 pairs that have laid eggs and producing new babies. So after the complete cycle of your breeding, you will wait for two weeks or maybe more than two weeks depending upon the size of your beta babies you can introduce mosquito larva so in our next video maybe we can teach you how to breed mosquitoes this is quite ridiculous breeding mosquitoes because we know that mosquitoes are really harmful but if you are just responsible in managing and breeding mosquitoes it will not become dangerous because you will not allow the wigglers to fly to become adult ones because you will feed them to your fishes already so that will be monitored if your beta fishes are already adult of course you can give live food they love to eat mosquito larva i used to have a barrier so that they will not flare all the day long and every morning i am removing these barriers so that they will exercise they will flare and it will make their fins longer every day If you are really an enthusiast about breeding beta fishes, well, I encourage you to please do breeding. Go on and breeding this. If you fail, just try it again because it's uh, a constant practice that makes you perfect. In my earlier experience, the first time I got into breeding this uh, ornamental fishes, I failed so many times. But because of our experience, we became more or less expert in this uh, breeding of beta fishes so that's all for today that i can give you in the next couple of months we gonna be flooded with you know this beta fishes and i am glad that many of those who followed us have been encouraged also to engage in breeding especially to the beta fish club the fish talk philippines we have the manila beta fish club we have the gapi society and all of these uh, groups are following us thank you guys for following us and there are also some clubs in other countries that are also following us so i hope you will get a lesson out of this video and please don't forget to like and share and please don't forget to subscribe only here at Dexter's World.